Here we've got another interesting product that might come in useful. This is ChipQuick, and it is a SMD removal kit. Now it's pretty simple, but basically what it consists of is you have the solder, some flux, and some alcohol. There's really not much to it. The interesting thing about this kit is actually the solder. This solder has a very low melting temperature, and so when you melt it, it actually stays melted for quite a long time. So if you've got an IC that you want to remove, you basically just solder all the way around it and it will stay melted to give you enough time to pull off the IC. And we've got this Arduino Pro, and I'm going to pull off the Atmega328 just to show you how it works. So the first thing you want to do is take the flux and apply it to all the pins. So I'm just going to dab it all along here, along the other edges. And you can use your own flux. We sell you know, these flux pens and some other things. You can use your own if you want. This is just a little bit, um, it's kind of pasty, so it stays on there a little easier. And then all we're going to do is take this solder, it's a little bit brittle, and then we're just going to go along all four of the sides, just like this. So now, all we have to do is lift off the IC, and we're good. So now you have a lot of um, stuff left on the pads, and all I'm going to do is just take some normal solder and just run along these pads and just clean it up a bit. So we just run along those pads, take off the other solder, And there you go. So now we have a relatively clean board. Of course, you can do it a lot better than this. I did kind of a sloppy, quick job with it. But the basic premise is that with a really low melting temperature, you can cover all the pins, and then it stays hot long enough that you can just lift off the IC. And all we need to do is use a little bit of alcohol and rinse off the flux, and then just go over the pads a little bit, and you're good to go. The IC is off, and you can put a new IC on there. So it's that easy. So it's a neat little kit if you don't want to or don't have access to a hot air station.